Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I am back with another video, and I'm sure since y'all saw my video, well, if you saw my video yesterday, did you know what today's video is going to be? Um, I found one of my favorite shirts of all time, Marilyn, and it's got Marilyn Monroe on it, um, so I have to do the whole look with it today. I wasn't even going to put on face makeup, I really didn't feel like it, didn't feel like messing with it. But then I got listening to A, um, Diane's live from last night, and then B, uh, went over to Drama Kiki's, um, live for a minute and was listening to her. Um, haven't seen her around in a long time, and I've always liked Drama Kiki. Um, that situation really sucks because I don't hate Controla. Um... I think that they both said really nasty things to each other and done nasty things to them to each other and other people um, but Margot left for like six months she needed that and I just can't get down with what she went through being brought up over and over and over the whole time she was gone like clearly she wasn't doing well or she would not have left but I don't want to get in the middle of that because like I, I've said it a million times that's their beef I wasn't even there when that started so I don't know all the details so I can't speak on it um but like I said I don't hate Controla and I've always liked Kiki so that's um but yeah I was watching uh Diane's um stream Wendy and Diane and I'm not Wendy's biggest fan either. Um, I always have kind of... I don't dislike her either. I don't dislike very many people. Um, but sometimes I do find Wendy a little condescending when she speaks to people. Um, but she has started to grow on me a little bit. I like her more than what I used to. Um, I don't dislike her. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't dislike her, but I'm not her biggest fan either. But what was said about her so fucking wrong just so wrong and katie mfw whatever the fuck should be completely ashamed of herself just ashamed of herself anyways so i'm gonna use this fantasy palette today obviously um i opened it yesterday and autumn decided to take off running with it so i had to clip that all out of my video i had to clip the ladder section off of it um after she took off with it and uh i figured i'd just do the rest of it today i'd do some swatches in this video and then do a look with it so um once again this is the you can be changeable fantasy palette and it says the color never ends with this full spectrum palette of 39 dialed up deeply pigmented shades with four rows of stunning color combos and one row of super sized shades You'll be ready to take on any look you can dream up. So go on and go for it and don't hold back. That is the wrong description for this palette. I'll say that. I know exactly what palette, and that's why I said that this palette reminded me of another one. Hold on, y'all. I'll take care of it before, you know, I get too into this. Um, so they put the wrong descriptor on this palette because the palette, they have, I think three or four versions of this palette. And one of them is like a James Charles dupe, uh, palette. And it does have the, the row, the big rows. And then the middle row is like big shape, bigger pans, just like the James Charles palette. Uh, but that is not this one. That is the wrong packaging for it. Whatever got it for free um so i'm not complaining and even if it wasn't free um i like the palette i don't give a shit that the back of it says the wrong thing i i really don't care obviously this is not a high-end makeup brand so mistakes do happen but anyways um so i want to swatch a few of these i want to swatch this one look how beautiful and sparkly that one is like the sparkles in it are just gorgeous Oh my 
think that might be where I ended my video yesterday was trying to swatch this one. Oh my gosh. That is freaking gorgeous. Obviously, I'm going to do a more um, nude, not nude, but like, probably like a gray, black, white look today. Um, let's go for one of the mattes. These mattes are pretty cool. Um, the neon vibe. Let's go with this green. Whew. Yeah. Wow. I was not expecting that to be as pigmented. Usually, like, neon shades like that, you have to go over a few times. Let's do this. This yellow. It's like a highlighter. It's probably not going to be as pigmented because those are really hard to make. Yeah, see. Plus, it's my skin tone. You can't really see it that well on my skin tone. But I have a feeling that this is a very buildable because all their shades are awesome. So, even the ones that don't perform as great as I would like them to, I have faith in. Do fly, get out of here, bro. Here's a white, and I love that in a palette because I'm always looking for a glittery white or a pearlescent white or. That's very nice. It's a really nice one. Um, let's do, let's do this silver one. It's got like the chunky glitter in it, and then there's a gold one that has like the chunky glitter. Oh, cool. That hasn't happened in a while. Sorry if you're looking up my nose, I'm trying to fix this. And I have my phone on charge, of course. <laughs> my phone has not been wanting to charge, man. And it's really... Okay, I wanted to make sure I was still running. I was getting ready to be sad if it, like, went off already. Um, but yeah, my phone has not been wanting to charge. It's been acting up a lot, so I don't friggin' know. Um, oh, okay, so yeah. The silver and the gold right here. Let's try those two. And then I'm gonna do that pearlescent color. And these ones you have to kind of get down in because they are that chunky kind of, just like that blue that I used yesterday uh, in my crease. They're beautiful colors. It's just the way that they're made. Ooh, of course, like I said, that chunkiness to it right there. Ooh, it's really smooth. That's really cool feeling. But it is going to be a little chunky. So usually with these, I use a little bit of water um, just to get it to apply a little better uh or some setting spray but i'm cheap as fuck so <laughs> some people use setting spray i use water sometimes sometimes i use setting spray it just depends on what i have close if i don't have any setting spray that's really pretty not as much glitter as i was um thinking there was gonna be but that's actually kind of good because it performs better without the chunky glitters of course the glitters look beautiful they just don't perform as well. Um, let me do this glittery black. Yesterday I was showing Mike and he was like, all, all your palettes look the same. And I'm like, Ugh. like, of course a man would say that. But I was like, are you joking me right now? And he was like, yeah, they kind of all look the same. And I showed him and he's like, yeah, I guess they look a little different. And he's like, they're not exactly the same, but they pretty much all have the same. And I'm like, well, there's so many, co only so many colors that there is. You know what I mean? Like, there's only so many colors out there. Okay, so let's pick, um, let's pick this matte. Oh, that's pretty. That'd be a good, like, all over color. That's pretty much the same color as my skin. It's on there. You just probably can't see it on my phone because it's like the same color as my skin. Okay, now let's do... I don't want anything on my fingers. Okay, so let's do these two pearlescent colors because those are gorgeous. This one's like a pink-purple shifter, and then this one's like a blue-green-purple shifter. Really pretty. So the pink one's going to go on this finger. Oh, yeah. And then the blue one is going to go on my pinky. Oh, and that one's really pretty. That one is really pigmented. This one's like more sheer. Um, here, let's do that one right there. Yeah, see that one's like really sheer looking. Whereas this one is really, ooh, 
you can use that as a highlight shade even. Both of those really is a highlight shade. Okay, but let's get into the she's. So, obviously on my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to use this white color. I'm going to wet my brush because I just always do that. Um, it just always helps pick up colors. Um, you don't want to, like, if you do wet your brush, you don't want to, like, soak it. You literally just want to do, do, like, a tiny little bit or just put some little bit of setting spray or however you want to do it. It's all up to you. I need to wash my brushes again. I just washed my brushes not even a week ago. And, of course, the ones that I use a lot are already all dirty. Mm. That's really nice. It's pretty nice. So, where'd it go? Going with one more dip here. Because I like a very light brow bone color. Because I'm already pale as fuck, so I have to go with almost, like, a uh, almost white color. Because if I don't, you ain't gonna see it. So, that's nice. Not very glittery, but that's okay. Uh, I don't even mind anymore because I used to go for like glitter. Gosh darn it. Don't mind my dirty sink. This is the sink that Autumn put, uh, you know, her handprints and paint on. And this is Mike's uh, brush cleaning sink, so it's not the most beautiful sink. <laughs> um, life is life. Shit gets dirty. Well, stained, because it's not really that it's even dirty. I just cleaned it yesterday, but paint doesn't all come off. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on my inner corner. And I used to be really bad about going, like, all the way in a little bit. And then I started realizing that it makes me look googly-eyed when I do that. It makes me look like I have, like... I don't know, maybe like a lazy eye or something whenever I do that, because it looks like my eyes are a little crooked. I'm going to just use the rest of that. Right up in here. Um, but yeah, so I used to be like a glitter, 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 gl everything had to be shimmer. Um, but as I'm getting older and getting better at makeup, I'm, I don't know if I'm I'm not good at makeup, but I'm getting better at makeup. Um, I'm learning that everything doesn't have to be constant, just glitter-filled um, to be pretty. So, and it all depends on what you're wearing for the day. If you're wearing a fun look, blah, blah, blah. But if you're going, like, somewhere nice and classy, you don't want, like, that chunky glitter and, like, I mean, I guess you could. It's not, like, a, anything wrong with that, but... What color? I really want to use that pink, but obviously doesn't match what I'm wearing. Not that, you know, everything has to match. That's a really pretty one, too, right? That one. That's really pretty. Kind of thinking about using that one. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to use that one. Gonna do it. I need to get my setting spray so I can stop wetting my brush. Maybe I'll do pink on this eye and then use the silver on my other eye. Because I wanted to use it to see how it performs, but that pink was calling to me. It's kind of like a nude pink. Oh my god. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm a fan. That's probably going to be one of my uh, favorites for fall. Because I like... In... The summer and the spring, I like to use a lot of colors, and then in the um, fall and winter, I like to, uh, in the winter, I like to use, like, reds and burgundies and 